look at just one application for trees as a type of graph here. This is going to be called a decision tree. Now, when you are having a tree, there are different names for things. For example, a binary tree is where each time you break apart, you only have at most two leaves coming off of there. And you can have ternary trees and so on, whatever number you have off of each part. But uh, binary is the one that people see most often, right? For example, if you were to ask someone a question, yes or no, well, that would be a binary decision there. And oftentimes, this is the way that people think. They think in terms of yes and no, right and wrong, and so on. But that's not always going to be the optimal way to do things. Now in this, we have a problem here. It says we are given a bag of seven coins. So we've got seven coins here. And they all look identical. But one of them is counterfeit. And the counterfeit coin will weigh a different amount than the real coins. Maybe heavier, maybe lower, lighter, but it's going to weigh a different amount. And we would like to figure out which one it is. So here's one way to do it. So one possible solution to this, possible, this problem is we could take, say, coin one here, and we could weigh it. And we could weigh it versus coin two. And if they're equal, then we know that they're both real. And if one of them is heavier or lighter, then we would know one of them is counterfeit. Now, if they happen to be equal, then we know that they're real. And then we could go try the same thing here with coins three and four. And again, if they are equal, then we're good. And then we could try the same thing here with five and six. And if they're equal, that means we're good. And if we got all three of them were equal, then that means the seventh coin has to be the counterfeit one. On the other hand, if any one of these, if any one of these turned out to be heavier or lighter, then we would know one of those is the counterfeit. And let's make an argument here. Let's suppose that in this case here, they were not equal. That means either one or two has to be counterfeit. And what we could then do is we could weigh, say, coin one versus any of the other coins. Let's say three here. And if one and three are equal, that means one and three are both real, which would mean that two is the counterfeit. And if the one and three don't balance, then it would mean that one had to be the counterfeit because we knew it was one or two at that point. So if we make our tree here. If my first weighing is going to be, I'm going to weigh one versus two, then there's kind of two possibilities here. One possibility is that they are even weight, equal. And then I would go ahead and weigh three and four. And again, there's two possibilities. One is if they're even weight. And if that's the case, then I'm going to weigh uh, five versus six. And if they are even, then finally we know that coin seven is counterfeit. If I were to go back to the beginning and I know that they are uneven weight, then I know that either one or two has to be counterfeit. So at this point, I'm going to weigh, as I said, one versus three. And if they are even, that means two is counterfeit. And if they are uh, uneven, then that means that one is counterfeit. And over here, when I weighed in three and four, if three and four were uneven, that means either three or four is counterfeit. So I will go ahead and weigh, let's say one versus three. And if they are even, 
and I knew that either three or four was the counterfeit, and that's even, that means three is not, so that means four is counterfeit. And if they are uneven, that means three is counterfeit. And then I could keep doing this and so on. It's getting pretty messy here. This would be a perfectly logical way of doing this. However, there is a much more efficient way to do it than this mess here. And it's a really clever solution. And I do want to point out something really quickly here is this right here is a binary tree. Each time there's only two things breaking off of it, each node. So this is a binary tree, but it turns out if I reinterpret this problem as a ternary tree, then I'm going to get the answer in a much more efficient way. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start by weighing the first three coins versus the next three coins. So on my scale here, I'm weighing coins one, two, and three versus coins four, five, and six. And as a result, if they are even, that means that all of those coins have the same weight, and therefore seven is the counterfeit. So I'm able to get one possible answer in a single step without having to do anything else. Now, let's suppose they are uneven. Well, and uh, we know whichever side's heavier, let's say one, two, three is heavier, then what I can do is I can say, at this point, I can weigh one versus two. So I'll say uneven left heavier, one versus two. And if those are even, then that means three counterfeit. I'm actually using the idea that the counterfeit is heavier here. I didn't say that in the problem, and, and we can go back and draw the other tree for that. Um, it's just making my life a little bit easier on this tree here. But if we didn't know that they were heavier as a counterfeit, I'd have to do one extra weighing at the end. But regardless, and if they're uneven, then depending on which one's heavier, say one heavier, then that means the one is counterfeit. And if they're uneven and the two is heavier, that means the two is counterfeit. And then the third possibility is that they are uneven and the right is heavier. And then at that point I could weigh four versus five. And again, have three possibilities. Either they're even, left is heavier or right is heavier. So by, by interpreting this problem in terms of a ternary tree, where we are going ahead and giving three possible outputs each time, we are able to uh, get a more efficient thing where we're just gonna need you know, two weighings here, and then we will get the answer. So this is just one example of how we can use a tree to try to solve a problem. And if you and also how if you kind of take your eyes and look beyond just binary trees, you can make things more efficient here.